guys, welcome back to another Bill Kashik weekly segment. Um, so this week guys, you can actually kind of get a little sneak peek, but we uh, got some cool things on the mountain Kashik while the show, um, plus some other things like some ideas what I have for the future, future parts of the uh, base. Um, but yeah, so stop looking over there and let's get right into it right now. So everybody, um, over the last week I did a lot of work. Um, now it might not look like uh, a lot technically, but trust me, a lot of work. I probably spent eight hours, but um, I finally finished the mountain. Um, at least the first part of it. So this is what it looks like all finished up. Um, so actually it looks really great, um, really cool to see this part finished and now we're definitely going to move on to that side however <laughs> I've officially run out of uh, these slope bricks right here these right here that's why I kind of what I ended up doing was I just went straight up on this side but then I kind of like did like this angle thing where I like kind of angled it up so it like kind of blended together um, so it looks pretty cool if you ask me you, you know either way um, so that's that is the wall or the mountain I should say that that's a wall in the back um, But it looks great uh, Honestly, I really like it on the back, you know, it's a bit colorful, but hey And then like uh, we're gonna probably do two floors one here and then one right here obviously so you can kind of see that Oh wonderful colors um, And then of course the door fully slides back so you can go all the way back here um, built the mountain so it could do that so the door can fully open and the same will happen on the other side so yeah pretty cool um, but yeah see I'll just show some of the blending here you can kind of see what I did Um, but it looks really great, like uh, really, really awesome. Um, especially next to the door right there, looks great. Um, but yeah, it's a very, very cool mountain. Is this side of the mountain is done, but not done. So, like done to this height, but then we got to build it up more, more. So we pro probably, yeah, we got to build twice the amount. So imagine this times two. So this on top of that will be the finished product all the way up, uh, all along it. Um, but that's yeah, going to take some time. But it's very cool to see this done. Um, now we won't get to this part over here just yet. Because I ran out of, like I said, I ran out of a lot of this stuff. You can see the empty buckets. Plus I'm running low on some of the other important pieces that help me build these uh, walls and everything. Um, so yeah, you know, this is rock solid. Um, I made sure it was very heavy duty because it's going to be holding up a lot of weight. So it was important that I didn't just throw bricks on the back to support it very little. It's supported enough that I could probably sit on it and it won't break. Um, just as supported as the tree was, I did the same thing with this rock wall. Um, but yeah, looks great. Um, so yeah. So now what we can do is actually we can definitely start on the back here. Now that this is all finished, we can just start on the back and start doing these floors. Um, that'll give me the time that I need to order the parts for that side and then I can start working on that as well. Um, now once I have this side looking like that side um, and both of these areas on the back done, then we'll do a sh we'll just literally continue straight on down on top of this wall right here or on the door right here we'll just more mountain building just go on up that's all we're gonna do um and it's gonna it's gonna get tall and big i'll, I'll definitely say that um actually i'll actually show you guys something give you guys an idea of height i have these right here and i'm gonna show you probably how tall it's gonna be end up being at the end so give me a second all right, so I literally did that. Uh, so that that's pretty much, that's the top right there. That's gonna be taller than the tree over there. Um, give you a sense of height so you can see how tall that's gonna be. Um, so that's basically once we get this side right here looking like that, 
this is what's going to happen all the way across where that we're going to go up to that length all the way across um and that literally this is exactly double length from here to here so i doubled it and that is exactly that's a little taller than the tree and that's exactly where we want it so you can see it's going to get a lot taller um once we get that side done uh, and just build across and as you can see you know uh coming over here it definitely enters this area so we don't actually probably don't have to build too much over but either way i'm still gonna probably do something like that probably right where that ends is enough space to build this up um but yeah so that's how tall it's going to be at the end result is is right there at the tippy top of that go ahead and take these down um, but yeah, so that's that's the goal guys is get up to that height and then we'll be done with the mountains And then we're just gonna completely go on the inside. That's a nice overview of the next couple weeks All right, so let's go ahead and move on So if you have a close eye then you uh, would have catched this right here um, You would have seen that I have uh, continued building this chic wall and a lot of you uh, did not like the idea of building it up really tall. A lot of you said keep it short so you could definitely see the mountains in the background. And that is what I've done is um, I've kept it pretty darn low. But, you know, some of you might be, whoa, why is it that low? Um, because I realized, I was like, wait a second, you know, why, is it, why does it need to be that high? And I thought about it. I was like, this is this height right here is it's actually the height of more than two Lego figures. Actually, probably three. Um, you can just see there's a little Lego figure and if we go down if we go down to it might look small like you know like this but If we go down to ground level it Looks pretty darn big if, if you were a droid right now see this wall you're gonna get demolished um, You can just see the, the, the height when you're down at ground level um, that, it, that it looks pretty darn big and then you can still see the mountain in the background there. It looks really cool when, it, when you do that, actually. Um, so I like that look. But anyhow, um, as you can see, I started putting these plates down right here. Um, all the way down there. And then I also, remember how I told you I had this idea, like, with these things? Well, I've improved that idea and pretty much have a finished product that I really, really like. Um, here's, what it's lo here's what it looks like back view and stuff um here's actually what's going on is all there's you have this like little pipe thing here a little tube thing i got it over here this right here all it's doing is being connected um on on these right here with uh some clips and um then i just made this uh made these little things and they just kind of turn with the pipe and uh looks pretty darn cool if you ask me um, definitely looks like it has that real craftsmanship that the Wookiees would build. Um, so I really like that look that I got off of this. Um, and I didn't, I was just kind of playing around. I was like, hey, what, you know, I had, I had some of these, uh, pieces like, huh, wonder what happens if I did that. Actually improve the design so it actually stays pretty much in place. It doesn't really jibble around. If I didn't have this piece right here, it would just kind of flop all the way around. Um, plus it gives us kind of cool look actually I like the look the these things right here give it um, kind of unique haven't really seen that done before and the actual thing this is it right here this is it it's actually just a soap piece this thing right here um, some of these cheese slopes um, I mean you can just look at it and see how it's designed and you know you would you know the first look at this you'd be like what the crap is this and then you start making multiples and putting on along it to each other it looks really cool actually plus it gives really nice cover for the uh the guys right here it's enough cover it isn't too tall and it isn't too small um it's enough cover that it looks really good it looks like the like you could still the droids could still snipe the troopers but the troopers could still have the advantage of over the beach and stuff like that so you got to keep that in mind is like you can't make this too tall so that their heads are only poking out you want to make sure that you still have some body language going on so they can put their um weapons over the over the little uh, wall that you have right here um so uh basically i think i'm going to just continue with this wall now the gray right here i just didn't have this right here in brown i don't even know if they make it in brown but um if they do I'll, i will order the brown pieces but if not then i think the gray kind of just I don't know. Gives a kind of 
interesting look to it. Um, if you don't really like it, then I'll, I'll switch it out somehow. I'll do something different. But I think I think the gray adds to it, if you ask me. Um, because if it's just all brown, it kind of gets lost. Um, the gray kind of keeps it in, it keeps it in place color wise. Um, but yeah, so pretty cool. I really like this design. I think that's what I'm going to do for the rest of the. You know, I'll do it for all the way around, and I'll finish up with uh, some other stuff, but some like stuff on the end, but. I think it looks pretty darn good to me. Um, didn't really have to do, use as many pieces as I thought I was going to use for this thing, but if it looks good, then it looks good. And especially, you know, down at ground level, it looks really cool. Like, really, really cool. Like, if I was making a stop motion right now, this this would look pretty darn cool. I mean, you can see all those troopers, like, firing and stuff. I don't know. It looks really great if you ask me. I like the look. I think a lot of you will like it too. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got to show um, in this Kashyyyk segment, guys. Um, you know, building this, finishing that wall was, you know, <laughs> if we go down to ground level on this thing, God, this thing gets big. Um, you know, building that was not an easy task. Um, but then I was also able to throw in, uh, get this design done. But again, just really simple stuff. You don't really have to overcomplicate Lego building. Um, if, if you know some, uh, you know, just play around with something. This is just playing around with stuff. You know, look, looking at what pieces you have available. And just, you know, making some different designs, I swear. Don't just put 2x4 bricks on top of each other and call that a base. Take some Lego pieces. That, try to keep it the same color, too. But um, take some Lego pieces, put them together, and see what design you get. And be like, hey, if I had multiples of these, what would that design look like? It gives a much better look and feel you get off when you have your own design going on like once i finish this and i put all these around here and you know that other wall over there goes up and you see this you'll be like wow this is when when you're looking at all this you'll notice this and be like this is a really cool design uh it catches your attention um and in a good way too not in a bad way uh, but yeah just a little tidbit for you guys and uh, that's all i got to show guys again thank you very much for watching and we'll go ahead and just finish with the outro Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed it. Um, you know, we went into the mountain, pretty cool. You know, seeing that all finished on that side. And when I say finished, you know, that section is finished. There's still the other side section. Plus then we gotta build the mountain all the way up across the entire thing. So still a lot of work, but um, it's cool to see it. You know, definitely really expand, I should, uh, I should say. Um, plus the Chiqua, I think a lot of you are actually gonna like the kind of little design I created, you know. Uh, Hopefully that helped you guys with some ideas, maybe just to give you guys an idea and just don't use bricks, just use other, you know, slopes and specialty bricks. They're always really nice sometimes, you know, using those extra other bricks that you probably don't go to when you're building a base can really actually change the dynamics of it. Um, you know, Lego is, you know, obviously... When a person thinks Lego, they think bricks. Um, they think of the 2x4 brick or something like that. I, when I think Lego, I think of anything. It can literally anything. Like There's really nothing you can't build with Lego. And so, I want to. Lego has created so many different pieces over the years that use them, I should say to you guys, is use them to your advantage. You know, Lego has, has gone from just being bricks in the 60s um, to, to being a very diverse toy, I should say, um, and, and use that, you know, there's extra bricks you probably won't go to when you're building a base or something like that. Don't just build bricks, like, use slopes, use specialty bricks, use those little cheese slopes. Those things can really change the dynamics, especially when you start putting a lot of that everywhere. It gives it a lot more character. Um, that's why when you go to, like, brick fairs or any type of conventions you may have seen online, you, you wonder, wow, why do these things look so much better than some of the other stuff? It's because they use a lot of dynamic bricks and they use a lot of different techniques um, using those bricks. They don't just use bricks, they use... And if they do use bricks, they try to change it in another way. You know, building sideways, snot, you know, stuff like that. Um, that's kind of what I always like to keep in mind when I'm building a base, is that don't just build bricks, build whatever you want to build. Um, so yeah. Nice little tidbit for you guys. Hopefully you'll take that into uh, into your hands and mind and use that for your own Legos. Because I know a lot of you uh, who I've talked to before really are getting inspired by this mock behind me to build your own thing. And I really think that's really cool, actually. And, uh, you know, uh, if you guys 
uh, want to, you can email. I have an email down below where I, uh, where you can submit the LDD stuff, which I have been looking at, by the way, guys. Um, I'll get to that uh, in, a, in a future segment. But anyhow, uh, you can use that email if you want to send me your mock and any, you know, I, tr I can't promise anything, but if you want to send me a picture of your mock, I can probably check it out and see what you guys are up to, give you a few tips. But if everybody starts sending me pictures, I, I, I can't promise that I'm going to get to everybody. So if I don't reply, I am sorry, but I'm sure I'm probably busy with some you know, millions of other emails. But if you ever get stuck or you just want a little help hand, you know, you can send an email. Hopefully, maybe I'll try to reply, depending on how many responses I get. But like I said, point is you be not be let your mind be not dynamic when you're building Legos don't just build bricks so yeah um, lastly guys just want to point out that um, I have um, some I uh, like an announcement video or something I haven't figured it out yet but something uh, I'll put on the channel here soon announcing some future plans of videos I'm, I'm actually gonna incorporate my other business um, I'm sure a lot of you know of it uh, as my minifix for you business which is my uh, custom Lego figures that I make. I have a site for it. It's down down below if you haven't ever heard of it, which I'm sure you have if you've been subscribed to my channel for a long time now. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be starting to push that in with the mix of this channel. So plans for that. Plus, lastly, guys, I got a question for you guys. Do you want me to bring back the vlog channel? Um, I know a lot of you have been asking that for a while now. And... My girlfriend Heather actually um, wants to come on to the channel a lot more. Wants uh, she wants to be on a lot of the videos I make. So, you know, if I bring the bring back the vlog channel, would you mind Heather coming in as well for a lot of those vlogs? Like almost probably all of them. <laughs> uh, let me know because um, I know she really wants to get involved with my channel. She really likes what I do. Um, and if you don't know who I'm talking about, my girlfriend, um, you can actually go to my vlog channel. I've made a vlog with her, and you can go check that out if you don't know who she is. And she's also in the Lego Movie Review, if you haven't checked that as well. That's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Big plans for other video content coming to the channel. If you enjoyed this video, got something off of it, learned something, something like that, subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe. And if you're already subscribed, great. Thank you very much. But if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Um, because it actually really helps. Plus, I have a, some future plans that I have to deal with subscribers and all that stuff. I'll explain at a later date. But... Trust me, the more subscribers I get, the more content you guys are definitely going to see. Trust me on that. Um, and also, if you like the video. Again, if you enjoyed it, saw, got something really cool off this, like it up. Uh, definitely appreciate it. And guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in next week's segment. Um, and yeah, so pretty, co uh, pretty cool stuff we covered. And that's going to do it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And you guys have a great and wonderful day. Bye-bye.